In this video, I'm gonna show you guys one of my favorite coverage defenses right now. I think it's one of the most effective coverage defenses in the game. It'll lock down a lot of the current meta, bunch, tight, any kind of compressed formation. This, this coverage defense is really effective um, against. Now, if you wanna get my entire defensive ebook on the nickel 3-3 formation, we're in the 46 playbook. You can get the whole ebook by joining the Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to become a member. It'll get you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. So the link is in the description if you wanna Check it out. 10 bucks gets you access to everything. So let's talk about the best coverage defense in Madden 23, at least in my personal opinion. And it comes to us out of the nickel 3-3. I love the nickel 3-3 right now because you can give a blitz look but still drop people back into coverage. You can do this out of any any defense, to be honest with you. Uh, but really, it's cover one robber press. I think cover one robber press is super effective. Um, and what we're going to do with this uh, is actually very interesting. So uh, what we're going to do here is we are going to come down. We're going to put our zone coverage on match. That is really important. And then we're going to put our flats on 25. Um, that's pretty much the setup here. And then we're going to be utilizing the cover one robber press. You could also, if you wanted to, you could also use um, any of the like nickel blitz, uh, LB blitz, zero. You could use that as well. But I personally prefer uh, cover one robber press. That's what I've been using. It's what I'm going to recommend to you. Okay. Uh, now, how are we going to use this to stop formations like gun tight bench, right? Let's just talk about bench for just a second. So um, what we're going to do with this is fairly simple. We're going to walk this linebacker out. We're going to walk this linebacker out. Now, what I want to do is I want to use her this linebacker right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to blitz our user. We're going to then man up that linebacker that we walked out onto the slot receiver. And here's your key adjustments. The key adjustments to this defense is to the wide side of the field, so to the right side of the field, we're going to put that outside cornerback into an outside third. And then we're going to man up the safety on that receiver. So you see that's what it looks like right here. Now, you could make a decent argument for the fact that you could cross man these safeties. I'll show you that as well in a second. Then on the short side of the field, which in this case is to the left, we're going to take that cornerback and we're going to put him in a cloud flat and we're going to man up the safety on the receiver. So you see, this is what the defense looks like. And to me, this is the best defense right now if you're going to play coverage because what you're going to get is you're going to get really nice coverage to anything anything that they normally will beat you with. And, man, you've got these zones here. So what you'll see is these corner routes, this 30 or 25-yard cloud to the short side is really effective for taking away that corner route on that side. And then the same thing over here. Now, if I wanted to do this out of LB Blitz, be a little different what i would say is you're just going to walk these linebackers down like normal and then you're going to man these linebackers up so we're going to man these linebackers now up on the outside players and then we're going to do the same exact thing so this will just save you a couple steps in your adjustments but basically the idea with this is now what you're going to notice is again same basic thing so like if they run bench to the right um, because we're running it to the wide side of the field, that's going to get double covered just like that right there. Now, uh, I did want to go over a couple of other route combinations specifically out of gun type because gun type is certainly the meta. They're probably going to do you know something like this. This is a great route combination, right? This play completely bags this. So again, just spread your, spread your um, D line. You're going to walk this guy outside, man him up on the outside guy. Um, and then you're going to cloud on the short side and, and third on the outside. So very simple, very simple setup here. This defense, I think, is super effective. Now here's your short side flood concept that everybody likes to throw, and we've got a 25-yard cloud there. It's not going to be a possibility. You cannot flood me to the outside. The only place they can throw is to the middle of the field, which is where my user is, which is the whole point of the defense. Now um, let's talk about bunch for just a second. And then we'll come back to type for a second as well. Now, again, you could do this out of other, other plays, okay? It depends on how you want to structure it, okay? But what we're really trying to get at here is you could do it out of one robber or blitz zero, I think, are the best two, okay? So if I did it out of one robber, let's say against bunch. Now, what I can do here is if you take a look here, I don't have to reman that guy up. I just have to man this guy up. So I'm going to walk this guy out, man him up on the tight end. And then I'm going to blitz my user. Now, on against bunch, what I like to do is, because we're not backed off, right, we're going to back off our outside, our short side corner. Whoever the short side corner is, we're going to back him off. 
we're gonna put him in a cloud and then the same thing we're gonna man up there and then we're gonna man up just like this so you see this is what the defense looks like now the other thing you can do is you can actually crisscross your safeties but what this does a really good job of uh against bunch is taking away the the definite the dangerous c route and the dangerous corner routes again outside stuff is all taken away within this defense and it funnels everything over the middle where your KOs, your inside shades, all that stuff can start to come into uh, come into effect, okay? Now, the other thing, um, the reason I like to crisscross these safeties, I'll show you this real quick. So why would I like to crisscross these safeties, you might ask? Well, really what we're looking at here, you see here, here's this, uh, this basic crisscross, is we're trying to basically get really baity with it. So we're going to do, let's say they run a flood concept. You know something like this and if you watch here at, off snap it's gonna be like oh I've got a guy open right I've got a guy open I'm gonna throw this seam ball and you've got double coverage there so if I've got a KO ability that's gonna probably be a knockout there's a good chance that that's not gonna that's not gonna happen and I'm telling you right now a lot of times you're gonna actually bait them into throwing you interceptions uh, with stuff like this so that is another uh, another avenue. You can crisscross those safeties as well. Um, let me show you how to do this out of another formation just, just for fun, and then we'll talk about tight as well a little bit more. So, um, again, I think Cubble and Robber is the easiest to do this out of. So it's a little easier in a formation like this because you don't have to mess with remanning up your user. So what we're going to do is just man up these safeties on the outside players, short side guys on a cloud, wide side guys on a third, and then you're done. That's it. That's all you have to do. Now, what you're going to notice is let's say they run like a slot post route, right? This is a really good man beater. Okay, do something like this, you know, and they've got these these streaks on the outside. Well, we're gonna we're gonna have that streak on the left double cover or the, on the right double cover because we have a third there, right? So you can't ag me there. That's taken away now. If they try to throw that, that's right into a thirty yard or twenty five yard cloud, and it's gonna be manned up as well. So as you can see, it takes away a lot of the popular ways that people are beating man coverage. Let me throw you one more um, popular play out of tight. And that's this PA cross with a corner route. It's a really, really good play, okay? Um, same exact adjustments. Boom, boom. Now, you are getting, they are going to be one-on-one, -on -one, but you're not shading down with this, right? So you're going to have standard shade. You can feel free to go help that. You can go help that easily. Now, obviously, you don't want to bump the guy that's guarding the slant, but by and large, essentially, it's just a one-on-one, -on -one, and if you have a good corner there, you're going to be just fine. So this is going to take away 90% of what people are doing right now to be able to attack man and zone coverages. I want to thank you for watching the video. If you want to get my entire ebook on the 3-3 defense, make sure you join the Patreon. The link's going to be on your screen. All you got to do is click that link. Go get signed up for just 10 bucks. Thanks for watching the video and go check out the Patreon.